top 10 African landmarks you may not know about. Hello explorers, welcome back to another informative video and thanks for watching. In this video we will be presenting you with the top 10 African landmarks you may not know about. Many of Africa's travels to the iconic landmarks around the world, the Eiffel Tower or the Grand Canyon, but there are many amazing sites of natural beauty and cultural importance on our own continent that don't get enough attention. Landmarks can either be prominent objects on land that serves as a guide or a site aesthetic or historical significance. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Here's a list of some of the remarkable landmarks in Africa, both environmental and historical, that are remarkable and should impress the world with their untold stories. In no particular order, here are the top 10 remarkable landmarks in Africa. Number 10. Zuma Rock, Nigeria Zuma Rock is a large monolith, an igneous intrusion composed of gabbro and granodiorite that is located in United States, Nigeria. It rises spectacularly immediately in west of Nigeria's capital, Abuja, along the main road from Abuja to Kaduna of Madala, and is sometimes referred to as the gateway to Abuja from Suleja. Zuma is depicted on the 100 Naira note and it was used for a defensive retreat by the Bai people against invading neighboring tribes during intertribal wars. The circumference of the rock is 3.1 kilometers with a height of 1,125 meters. Tourists summit the rock and it takes about 5 hours to get to the top to give you glorious 360 degree views. Number 9. African Renaissance Monument, Senegal The man with a ribbed torso stands strong holding an infant with one hand and a woman on the other. First revealed on the 4th April 2010, the 160 meter high bronze statue on a hill in Dakar was designed by a Senegalese architect Pierre Guadiabi Alepa. On 3rd April 2010, the African Renaissance Monument was unveiled in Dakar in front of 19 African heads of states. The statue is one of a half times the height of the Statue of Liberty. The idea of the statue was proposed by the then President Abdullahi Wade and many were against the construction of the statue as it caused a financial scandal during the economic crisis. Fortunately for tourists, it still remains to be viewed and admired. Number 8. Kunta Kinte Island, Gambia Kunta Kinte Island, formerly called James Island and St. Andrews Island, is an island in the Gambian River, 30 kilometers from the river mouth and near Jufure in the country of the Gambia. It is less than 3.2 kilometers from Albreda on the river's northern bank. It was visited by explorers when they were searching for sea routes to India in the 1800s. It then became popular through the book and series by Alex Halley Roots, declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site on the 6th of February 2011. The island used to be a cultural exchange zone between Africa and Europe. Number 7. Isandi Wana Zulu Memorial, South Africa a little bit closer to home along the R68 between Melmoth in the east and Babanago in KwaZulu Natal is where 20,000 Zulus attacked British soldiers in 1879. When British General Lord Chelmsford, acting on intelligence, split the British force in the hope of engaging the Zulu, he laid the ground for the most important Zulu victory of the Anglo-Zulu War. A total force of around 1,700 men were left behind in camp, relatively unprepared for the approaching 25,000 Zulu warriors. It is probably the most visited battlefield in South Africa. Curiously, it was only in 1999 that a memorial was erected to the Zulu Fallon. There is an entrance fee to access the battlefield and tours are available. Number 6. Church of St. Emmanuel, Ethiopia One of the most astonishing man-made sites in Africa has to be the Church of Emmanuel in Lalibela, Ethiopia. It perfectly replicates the style of Aksumite buildings with its projecting and recessed walls mimicking alternating layers of wood and stone seen at places such as Iemerhana, Christos and Debre Damo. The most striking feature of the interior is the double Aksumite frieze atop the nave. The church is also the former royal chapel and was carved out of a red solid volcanic rock. Baita Amanuel, as it is known by locals, remains a place of pilgrimage for Ethiopian Orthodox churches today. The chambers in the walls are the graves of pilgrims who requested to be buried here. Number 5. Aloba Ak, Chad Chad and Nedi Plateau, located within the Sahara Desert in the northeast part of the country near Libya and Sudan, has geology similar to the Colorado Plateau and has produced a number of natural arches and similar landforms. Although only Aloba can claim to be on the top 10 list of the longest arches in the world, Aloba Arc Span is considered to be on the 8th longest known natural arc and the longest outside of China and Utah. Due in part to its location as well as being only recently recognized for its size, estimates based on photography yield an approximate span of 250 feet. The arc in the Enedi range of the Saharan Desert was carved from sandstone over many years of erosion. Number 4. City of Castles, Gonda, Ethiopia Gonda is a city and separate woreda in Ethiopia. Located in the Semian Gonda zone of the Amra region, Gonda is north of Tana Lake on the Lesser Angreb River and southwest of the Semian Mountain. It is surrounded by the Gonda Zuria woreda. Gonda served as a strong Christian kingdom for many years. 
The city holds the remains of royal castles from the 1600s from the reign of King Phalislites. After his death, other kings continued building until it became a large royal court with over 20 palaces and 30 churches surrounded by a 90 meter long battle wall. Gonda has been called the Camelot of Africa. Number 3 Satyagraha House, South Africa. Satyagraha House, commonly known as Gadi House, is a museum and guest house located in Johannesburg. The house belonged to Mahatma Gandhi. He lived and worked there between 1908 and 1909. It is registered as part of Johannesburg's historical heritage. Satyagraha means insistent on truth. The house was designed by the architect Herman Kalebach for Gandhi and himself. Gandhi spent 21 years of his life in South Africa, where his philosophy was shaped by his experience on racial oppression. The house is in the style of an African cry with Rhonda Vells, round African dwelling with a thatched roof. The house was built in 1907. There is no entrance fee to view the house, but guests may stay overnight. Bookings are advised. Number 2. Leptis Magna, Libya. Leptis or Leptis Magna, also known by other names in antiquity, was a prominent city of the Carthaginian Empire and Roman Libya at the mouth of the Wadi Lebman in the Mediterranean. Affectionately known as Libya's little piece of Rome, the ruins date back to the age of the Emperor Septimus Severus, end of the 2nd century AD, when the Roman Empire also included areas of North Africa. Leptis Magna was one of the empire's most beautiful cities and is now a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The amphitheater, columns and sculptured medusa heads are some of the best preserved Roman ruins outside of Europe. Number 1. Taiwo or Lowo Monument, Nigeria Daniel Conrad Taiwo was known as a man who rose to influence from being a man of humble beginnings to one of the most successful men in Nigeria. He arrived in 1848 to be a successful trader, community leader and philanthropist. The monument was built in his honor in 1990. Taiwo Olowo died on February 20th, 1901 at age 120. Bishop James Johnson officiated his funeral. The Taiwo Olowo cenotaph was erected over his tomb by the Brazilian Lagosian master builder Senor Yor da Costa in 1905. Its plaques were said to have been forged from the melting of hundreds of copper pennies. The monument is situated in Central Square, Lagos, between Mandela and Continental House. Visitors are often more than welcome to view this monument. There you have it, explorers. Those were the top 10 African landmarks you may not know about. Are there any in your country and you would like to add? Let us know in the comment section. Thanks for watching this video. If you want us to cover any of your top 10 topics, leave your suggestions in the comments and your requests will be granted. Also, do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you.